I'm back with exciting results. This is the study from Bangladesh. This is a cluster randomized controlled trial of different strategies of community level masking. Here's what they did. They took a number of communities in Bangladesh and randomized them to control arm, which meant you didn't get anything special. Some people wore masks, some didn't. Surgical masking, where you were given some surgical masks and instructions on how to wear surgical masks and told about SARS-CoV-2, and cloth masking. And they were able to look to see in that community what was the spread of SARS-CoV-2. And they did it based on symptoms, but also based on the more rigorous and the primary endpoint of the study, symptoms plus serological confirmation that you had SARS-CoV-2. Now, when a study is like this, an open label study, you need that blood test to document that you had or didn't have SARS-CoV-2. You can't just go by symptoms alone because wearing a mask might make you report symptoms differently. But lo and behold, they got the answer. If you were in the surgical group, you had a statistically significant reduction in the rate of SARS-CoV-2 spread in that community. The cloth mask group was null. It had a wide confidence interval, but the point estimate was basically the control arm estimate. The way I interpret this study, surgical mask wins, cloth mask loses. Cloth mask does not confer a benefit when recommended to a community. Or in other words, we recommended the wrong mask in the United States. We've been recommending the wrong mask for 18 months. Why? Because we didn't do a randomized control trial like this. What a fail. Failure, a colossal failure. Had we done this a year ago, we would have been in a much better place. We would have known what mask to recommend. And in fact, if you look around, the vast majority of people wear cloth masks. Those masks, when recommended in this fashion, fail to work. There are a few things to discuss. Some people say here that this was a lower bound estimate, that if people wore masks even more, it would be even more beneficial. Well, that's speculation. You know, it's possible you're right, but they didn't, and you don't know, and you need to see if you can get that to happen in another study. It would have been great to do a study like that in the United States where the mask utilization might have been higher. The next thing they say is the age. If you look at the group of people and the difference in SARS-CoV-2 by age, it appeared that as somebody was older, particularly over the age of 60, there was more of a reduction in SARS-CoV-2 in those age groups, and below 40, there was no reduction. Does that mean that if you're younger than 40, you oughtn't to wear the mask? What it means is when all the adults in a community are instructed to wear the mask, that benefit is reaped by the oldest people in that community. That's all it means. What does this have to do with uh, schools and masking young children? The answer is absolutely nothing. This is not a childhood mask study. It didn't randomize kids in school. Uh, kids in school mostly use cloth masks. Kids who are two through four, they have a huge period of the time when they take a nap each day when they don't wear the mask. Does this study extrapolate to them? Absolutely not. But what it does show you is that we desperately need randomized cluster trials in this age group. Now, previously in a column in MedPage Today, I wrote that you know, masking may not have an all no or all yes answer. It might depend on the type of mask, cloth versus surgical, the age of the person, the rate of SARS-CoV-2 in the community, and additional factors. We will tease that out a little bit from this study, but we will still have a lot of open questions, and that's the pressing need to do more studies. More than anything, this study shows you that cluster randomized control trials in the middle of a pandemic are possible. Why are they the only people who did one? Where was the CDC? Where's the study in the United States? It's a catastrophic failure. The next thing it shows is that surgical masks did work, but cloth masks didn't. They're negative. And recommending cloth masks as a population-based mandate or population-based intervention, that's a fool's errand. You could have used that capital to recommend surgical masks or to make surgical masks and distribute them to your community. You didn't. And that to me is a huge failure. I think this study validates randomized control trials yet again. I'm happy to take a deeper look into the, the data. It's a long paper, and I will look at it, and I'll look at their regression analyses. Um, but these are my initial, my initial impressions. Um, and as for masking kids, it proves absolutely nothing. It doesn't show a reduction among spread in school-aged children. Ah, the last thing just came to my mind. The last thing is some people say that these results will extrapolate to vaccinated people. Well, that's not the case either. They don't extrapolate to vaccinated people. You need to do a different study if you want to make the claim that vaccinated people need to wear surgical masks. And I think you'll have a very different study on your hands because the probability that they're carrying this at any point in time is going to be far lower than in this study. So very interesting trial, cluster randomized control trial Bangladesh, the first of two to my knowledge. The other one is in the Guinea-Bissau. We'll see what they find. This, I think, shows, like other studies, like the McIntyre cluster RCT study in BMJ Open from many years ago, that cloth masking, that wasn't the answer. Um, and I think 
we fail to find any significant benefit here. The confidence interval is wide, so someone will say, well, it's possible there's still a benefit. Sure, but why do you want to do the, the arm that doesn't work when you got an arm that's working quite clearly? So I think uh, it's, it's negative. And I think this will be misinterpreted in many ways, but the headline should read, we wore the wrong mask. Americans, ill-advised by not doing randomized controlled trials, they were encouraged to wear the wrong mask. And I think that's the key take home. And kids, it's time for another study there.